Oh my god. I did not think it would look like this. It looks so good. Good morning. This isn't any sort of normal morning. Look. It is snowing today. Look, 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 look. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Yep, two years later, it's still a novelty. Snowing outside feels like a bougie morning. Why not? This is what I'm wearing to brave the cold. I don't want to get my pants wet, so I've just busted out my River Island trusty plain leather trouser. They kind of are in the fit of a pair of jeans. And um, yeah, I've had them for a couple of years now, maybe like two, two years or so. And uh, yeah, I just feel like they wear really well and they look quite realistic if you get me it's more of a matte leather which i like and yeah h&m sweater and misguided like always see me in boyfriend leather jacket and then my asos boyfriend cap because i actually like my hair today and i know the snow is gonna ruin it i felt like the snow deserved a bit of a glossy puff day so that's what's on my cheeks i've got teensy means a bit of foundation my number seven is super light um, padded with my beauty blender but I mean you can see a lot of my natural skin and just concealer, Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer and then just a little bit of BAM.com on my lips from Glossy as well. So I just don't see the point in super 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 high-end lip balm but I also don't like commercial lip balms because they just kind of are made to dry out your lips more so you keep using them so that's why I like this one. <sighs> okay I'm finally leaving because I've got to take all of this to the charity shop. I think I'm gonna jump in an Uber. Oh my god, I totally forgot my um, washer and dryer basement has a recycle box thing. So I'm about to load this bad boy up with all this good stuff that I wasn't bothered putting on Depop, but yay, score, I saved myself an Uber. Oh my god, I did not think it would look like this. I think it definitely counts as a winter wonderland situation. It's not quite sticking on the paths yet, which is good because it means I can stick with my plans and get around town pretty easy but it's still pretty beautiful. Look at it. This is the park outside my apartment and it looks so beautiful. It looks like it could be Central Park. I bet it's Central Park actually, it's amazing. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> this weather is really putting me in the mood for a hot chocolate, so that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get one. I picked the worst day to wear a bag made out of faux fur. Look at that little flu fur. To the one and only. Well, actually there's a lot of these, so maybe not the one and only. Get them. They didn't have hot chocolate. Like, it's the bane of my life when coffee shops don't have hot chocolate. Or marshmallows, which is another thing. I feel like not one coffee shop on the upper side. They went to another local place and I've also just made lunch. So I'm having a rat. I picked up such weird stuff at the grocery shop last night, but I have just like some greens, a little bit of apple, and I'm finishing up this last ego. Egos are definitely not part of my regular diet, but uh, me and Kyle just finished Stranger Things 2 and we really took our time watching it. And then we got a craving for egos and Kyle. It didn't happen before. So this is the last one. And I also picked up this when I was at the coffee shop. They had these like pre-made overnight oats and this was the Choco Peanut Butter oats with almond milk so yeah these look very good i struggle with breakfast and i'm trying like my goal for 2018 is to learn to like porridge or at least make overnight oats that i actually like because the only time i tried it they didn't come out so good so i'm gonna give these a go and like ease myself into it Ooh, i might have some baked beans as well because they're open while i was out i also stopped at papyrus and got some christmas cards because i'm getting sentimental in my old age and uh, i want to send out some cards to my friends and some people in the building that are going to be staying in new york for christmas also got the new york times as well because i'm trying to be educated first i'm going to finish this video i just found this girl um I think she's a main channel, but I've just found her vlog channel. Um, it's called Alex and Dan. This isn't her boyfriend, but it's this girl and her boyfriend. It's like um, a couple's vlog. And it's not usually my thing. I don't really, I'm not really into like couples vlogs, but um, they're really cute and I like watching them. And this is their Ireland vlog. They went with Tess Christine and Pat, um, who you may know for they're like New York YouTubers. And they have a really cute house in Montreal. And I'm like, I've only, this is the second vlog I've ever watched. I, I really like them so far. Bon appétit.
Ah, so fluffy. <laughs> I'm leaving the house. I'm heading downtown to meet a friend who I haven't seen in a really long time. She's one of my closest friends from uni. So yeah, once I get back, it's gonna be a chill one, but I'm not gonna leave you guys there just yet. I have some footage from last night. I just did some little, little errandy shopping bits, but I also went to a really cute Christmas party uh, by one of my friends not too far from me in the Upper East Side and it actually was super nice because even though there was like a normal like friends there too like at least four or five people there were like Instagrammers or YouTubers so like it felt kind of cute it felt like, like a little influencer Christmas party which was nice so yeah I'm gonna leave you guys with that footage now oh, okay so I'm home I've had dinner and I've like spruced myself up a little bit just like a little bit of foundation and blusher and all that and I put my Christmas jumper on because I'm heading over to Erica's house, Erica from Retro Flame. Really amazing Irish blog, I'm sure you guys all know her. And she's having like a low-key shindig tonight and I guess freelance, you don't get invited to like a lot of actual Christmas parties. And I got this sweater last year from Netflix, actually they sent this out and it's a Stranger Things sweater. It's a little big but it's so cool, I've been like wanting an excuse to wear it, I'm definitely going to wear it as my Christmas jumper when I get home too. And then, I don't know if I can show you guys. Oops, this will be difficult, but on the back it says Stranger Things also. Oh, I have to say, since Kyle has gone back to Ireland, he left yesterday, I've gutted the apartment. Like I've gotten rid of all the clutter, all the stuff I wanted to donate and just like rubbish and cardboard and recycling that was lying around and the apartment feels so good again. Like this is the perfect apartment for one person. Like super minimal, no clutter, Nothing that doesn't have a function around, nothing lying around. That's my favorite thing. I usually kind of throw my mess into the bedroom. And since Kyle has been gone, my bedroom is pretty clean also. I'll show you it now, because I haven't shown you in a while. I don't bring you guys into the bedroom much, but it's all tidy also. We switched around the bed situation for while well, well, Kyle was here. I usually sleep on the other end. But with the air conditioning and all, we switched it to there. And I've got my odd sheets on at the moment, so ignore that. Yeah, it's a little bit chaotic over here. I've got like Christmas presents and like I'm kind of getting ready to pack also for a couple of days. And like I'm sorting out what I need to bring home to get tailored. And you know, I've got some outfits that I want to wear this week over here. So cozy in here. I've had this candle lighting for a while. It's a Primark one, but I really do love, just for like everyday burning, they're so cheap and they really are nice. Like for a cheap candle, they're not like overly sweet. I really like this powder rose blush one. It's called, it's described as soft and romantic flora bouquet. Sweet peony, raspberry, tones of sweet peach. So really like that one. These are my other favorites. These are the candles that got the bougie knit started for sure. Diptyque Mimosa or was it Bayes? I think I might have had the Bayes candle too. But this is my favorite scent of all time in a candle. I feel like it's Burberry's Black Amber. Um, I got this while I was in London with Burberry and they were burning them at every single like event that they had organized for us over the two or three days and I became obsessed with it. It is the most luxurious, delicious smelling candle of all time. Please give it a sniff because oh, you will be obsessed with the packaging is amazing and they burn so well too. So I've got these lovely like thistles that are starting to turn into dry flowers that Cahill bought me uh, when I got back and I've got like all my, I've got Shark Tank on for once because that's like Cahill got me addicted to that but big mirror as usual just to add an extra bit of space. As you can see it just looks like super like empty like kitchen. My little table that I kind of use as counter space slash like a workspace. My, I actually talked about these on Instagram. I'm still so happy with this purchase. This, these were both from Etsy. I have not actually changed anything in the apartment since I moved in. <sighs> Coming up on two years ago because it's just, the thing is it looks super bare. I, I mean, I could definitely do with putting like a green plant or something here. But the thing is like I travel so much. I don't want to get plants. I don't want them to die. Um, so I just kind of get, bunches of flowers and I always put them up there and I feel like they really add some life to the apartment but yeah so they always die I don't buy plants and then I don't invest in much furniture because like the space is just too small and I would rather enjoy it clutter free and you know just easy to move around because like I, I never want to be caught in a situation where if I, I need to move quickly I just have all of this unnecessary stuff and I'm only going to be here for probably one more year and I just don't want to accumulate 
too much in such a tiny apartment and yeah I, I take a minimalism with my things quite far probably um that's probably how it looks to you guys anyway yeah little minimalism chat but anyway I really need to go because I think probably people are nearly there by now okay I need to stop blabbering because I need to go I need to get a drink I've had this vodka in here for so long and I know this looks pretty hardcore for a low-key get-together but I don't drink wine or beer so I'm quite happy just to sip away on some um, vodka with a little bit of mi well actually a lot of mixer because your girl don't want to be hungover and I've got these chocolates which I'm gonna bring over and oh my god Kyle has me haunted with all these sauces like it bothers me so much that he has so much hot sauce oh my god my mirror is so dirty it's like the last thing that I have to clean but um yeah I'm wearing my red primer coat my red aspinal bag which I got confirmation it is aspinal and not aspinal and yeah I'm taking this because if it's my vlog camera big fan of them lately and then just black boots um levi's wedgie which are a little big for me at the moment and but they're in the darker wash and then my jumper so i'm gonna go so nice up here this time of year they go all out in the upper east side and the decorations and christmas is certainly no exception the best little spread here oh my god queen of all of the bits 